everybody! Today we are going to make delicious, delicious and nutritious soup. It's called Pyo Hejangku. Pyo means bones. Hejangku is hangover soup. But you don't have to have a hangover. This is my all time favorite soup. So I got this, this package. So cheap. It's a five dollar only. It says beef cow feet. When I lived in Korea, ox bone is so expensive, still expensive. In Korea, somebody says, oh, I'm making ox bone soup. Oh, that means that they are some rich or they just have some special occasion. And when I came to America a long time ago, I couldn't believe it when I went to grocery store, some package, wow, this is so cheap, cheap. So I had to buy, and all Korean immigrants, they know about this. You can make a Korean ox bone soup easily here. Any type of Korean soup can be hangover soup, actually, because after drinking a lot, you know, previous night, and then early morning, you have some headache, and then you don't feel like eating anything, no appetite, and then there's like a huge bowl of soup. Doesn't matter what it is. I already posted soybean sprout soup, and also dried Polak soup. These soups are also considered as a hangover soup. Basically hangover cure soup. <laughs> and really nutritious. Like I'm using bones, ox bones. Inside the bone marrow, lots of also, you know, the protein, delicious. No matter what happening, if it's not delicious, I don't care. Delicious food. That's what I want to learn. That's what I want to share. I am boiling 20 cups of water now. Here. While this is boiling, I'm going to wash these bones and soak in cold water. We have to wash well because there is some bone fragment and also remove the blood. So I'm going to soak this in cold water. 20 minutes passed. My water is boiling. Drain the bones. And then I'm going to turn down the heat to medium and cover. Now, we gotta boil, boil, boil these guys. Until when? Until water goes down half. After boiling hours, all the nutrients, bone marrow, all this you know, protein coming out, thrown out to water. So it, water color changed to really milky color. But I used to make a huge amount, huge, large, large pot. I don't count the water volume or hours, just the boil and the water is go down and then pour more water until when? All this water turns to the milky. That's the exactly what I want. I'm using this guy, cabbage, Napa cabbage. When we make kimchi, we use this cabbage, right? We need two pounds of cabbage. But if you guys don't have a cabbage, a chard, sweet chard. Chard is really working well. I sometimes I use a chard. Oh my, wow, delicious looking. Inside yellow, perfect. See. Yeah, two pounds. You guys may think that, come on, Mangchi, what, what is the big deal? You could, you don't have to measure just like really exact. I had never measured my food. When I lived in Korea, you know, wherever, before I started my YouTube video, and I never, I had never, never measured. But when I make a video, I gotta really give you guys exact measurement. Otherwise, sometimes food tastes really good, sometimes it doesn't turn out so, so good. That's why I like to give you the recipe, ratio, measurement, as accurate as I can. I'm going to make a kachori later with this. Kachori, fresh kimchi. So this guy, I need to blanch. So let's just boil water. I have another pot and then I'm going to boil my water. Around 10 to 12 cups of water, let's boil. Yeah. 
Really delicious batch of cabbage. My water is boiling. Let's blanch. Stem first. Stem. When you blanch this, like this, keep turning it over. So without lead, we are going to blanch around four to five minutes. This cabbage is well wilted, see? Really flexible. Nice. It took five minutes. It's hot. We never wash this cabbage. We need to wash and stop cooking. So cold water. We need cold water. You see how soft it is, but still very crunchy, crispy. Gorgeous, beautiful. So just to press down, you don't have to squeeze, okay? Small pieces, just like that. In a large bowl. It's a huge amount of cabbage, right? But when this is for four servings, I love this in you know, cabbage. I'm going to set aside. Later, I'm going to add with the seasoning. We are going to wait for bone broth to finish. Welcome back, everybody. I boiled my bone soup for three hours. I saw this water reduced a lot, more than half. So I'm going to add more water. This water used to be here, and then go down more than half. It's milky, milky, but I need to cook longer. I want a milk here and the more broth I want. And when you see, it's all these bones are here, and so stuff is still attached. Some bones are like this, very clean, right? So we need to, I think we gotta add more water. So four cups of water, let's add. Oh my, so quiet. Oh wow. All this bone marrow coming out. Isn't it milky? Nice. I like to make it cool down. So now I'm cooling down this my using my ice water and then meanwhile it's a little cool down so I can handle this. It contains a lot of collagen good for your complexion so I'm going to eat all. I will just take it out all this sticky stuff or delicious stuff. Use your fingers or a spoon, whatever you use, take it out, all good stuff. A lot, eh? I got a lot of stuff here. You see, icy water make it really gel. You can see the really white part. 
and this kind of yellowish part, this is fat. We gotta remove this. I will use my thin spoon. Clean. We removed all fat. Wow, this is very, very nutritious. Delicious broth. We have to season this. Let's add some uh, soybean paste. Korean soybean paste. Doenjang, about quarter cup. Eight cloves large garlic. So two green chili peppers we need. Let's add here. And then one tablespoon fish sauce. And then let's mix. So I'm going to mix this and then put this in my pot. I like to wear my glove today. Then add this here. And then eventually we add this bone broth. Six cups. Four. So six cups. We still have around one cup left over. Reheat this, boil this, and then we just mix with the salt and chopped green onion, and then you can drink. It's a good. Look at this. How nutritious it looks. Let's add this. All this thing, look at that. Let's boil. I boiled 20 minutes over medium high heat. It's really boiling, almost boiling over. It smells so good. And lower the heat. I turn down the heat to low. I'm going to cook 10 more minutes and then Done! I made rice. I will have a late dinner tonight. I'm making cucumber salad, spicy cucumber salad. Very fresh and tasty. Looks awesome. Add some chopped green onion. When you serve this, just serve with a little bowl and then filled with a hot pepper flakes, a Korean gochugaru. Because some people want to add some hot pepper flakes here. I made a non-spicy version today, but you guys can add hot pepper flakes. And this is the soup we made. I don't need many other side dishes. Even I didn't bring my kimchi. I made this fresh cucumber salad and then I'm going to eat it. Let me taste. Let's add some hot pepper flakes, just a little. Mm. Really delicious, really hot, savory, and kind of sticky, earthy. All kinds of taste is inside here and also so much collagen inside. So after eating, so my lips are sticking. Today, we made Pyo Hejangguk, ox bone hangover soup. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.